I want to ask you a question. When was the last time that you acknowledged everything that you had accomplished in this past year? We are at the close of 2018 and it's a time for many people to come and get excited about 2019 and everything they want to accomplish for their business or in their family life. And it's really important that we take the time before we leap into those goals for 2019 that we acknowledge everything that we've done in 2018. Hi, I'm Kristen Furman Simmons, and I'm coming to you with this idea that was recently brought to my attention from doing a workshop called Fierce Clarity with Stacey Ferguson of JusticeFergie.com. I'm so grateful to her because before we started our 2019 goal setting plans, we took some time to acknowledge and dig deep into every single thing that we had done that was successful, not successful, but part of our 2018 year. And this was a really powerful foundation for me to set myself up to really acknowledge and be grateful for all of the wonderful things that I had accomplished individually, but also that I had accomplished with my family and also the teams that I work with. This is a really simple exercise and you can do it whether you're in business for yourself or just that you need to acknowledge what you're doing personally. But I just took some time and it's super simple. It wasn't anything fancy, but I put down a piece of paper and I put my accomplishments 2018 on the top. And then I took about five minutes to write down everything that had happened for me. And the really, really cool thing happened as a, a part of the process in this. I began to see, um, because I have this natural tendency, probably like a lot of you, I tend to look at what things didn't happen first. And this helped me to begin to acknowledge what did happen for me. I'm going to read a little bit of this list to you because I actually felt really excited about the fact that I got a lot done in 2018. I spoke at seven different conferences. Back in 2017, I had put out this goal that I wanted to speak at six, but I actually spoke at seven different conferences and they were related to both my business, but also my work as a political advocate for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. That was really exciting for me. I got to speak at Capitol Hill as well as in Orlando. So some of my favorite uh, places I got to, to talk and share my passion. I successfully brought on board an intern, which was a big deal for me in terms of growing my business. I had been talking for a long time about getting the help that I needed and this intern experience was so successful that I'm actually bringing on two interns next year. I traveled nationwide and actually globally for my work and that is a big thing for me. I'd love to travel and to combine those two things together um, was a huge accomplishment. With my running team with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, I helped raise over $25,000 for blood cancer research. I'm hugely proud of that. I also became a trustee on the board of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, so I'm really excited to take that fundraising skill set that I have and that public speaking skill set that I have to the next level and help expand the programs that the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society um, is involved in, expand those across New England. So I'm really thrilled with that. Here's one of my best accomplishments of 2018. I got to, <laughs> I think about it, it makes me so happy. I got to puppeteer with the Muppeteers at the Jim Henson Studios out in uh, Los Angeles. This was a lifelong dream for me. And not only did I have a blast um, learning how to become a Muppeteer, um, but I also paid for this trip for my husband and myself to go out of extra money that we had made uh, in our business. And that was a, a huge accomplishment for me. It was a decadent trip. Um, we had a fantastic time. And having a chance to become a Muppeteer was just something that really satisfied this like little girl dream that I had. I ran a series of races with my family. This was something that we've been wanting to do for a long time with both of our girls who are 12 and 15 and we ran races together as a family and that was huge. We loved it. I tripled my revenue from 2017. That was a huge accomplishment. If I think about financially where I was just in 2017 to where I am now, that has been a huge amount of growth for me. I have had this goal to turn my side business into a full-time business and I'm doing it and I'm psyched about that. With that business, I also launched my brand new website that was a labor of love and I had a lot of wonderful help. Kenya, thank you so much in getting that off the ground. Another, uh, this is an accomplishment that might not seem like something you can check the list off of, but I can tell you honestly that I feel really good about the investment that I have made in my relationships this past year. 
And when I talk about my relationships, I talk about my friendships as well as my partnership with my husband. Um, I feel great that I've made the time and the focus and the energy to be with those people that I love and care about and to give of myself. And that's something that I feel is a, a big step for me to continue to make that investment in a loving way. Another part of that was also participating in an incredible women's mastermind group um, and helping to grow my business. So this list could go on and it makes me realize that I have a foundation from which I can spring into 2019. And I know that you have a list like this too inside of you. I want you to take the time as you're closing out the 2018 year and put together a list of your own accomplishments and I actually wanna hear all about it. I wanna know what you've done, large and small, so that you can also have that foundation to launch into a great year in 2019 as well. I wish you all massive success. I hope you have a fantastic holiday and I look forward to hearing everything that you're grateful for and what you're hoping for for 2019. Bye-bye.